All week, we have been taking you behind the scenes of Let's Make a Deal. Today, we're talking zonks. Fans of the show mm -hmm. know a zonk is a gag prize, but who comes up with those pasta wigs and giant couches? <laughs> I needed to know, so I did some <laughs> hardcore investigative journalism <laughs> and went to L.A. and found out this is a huge job. Now, the zonks have developed a fan base all their own, and the mastermind behind all of this went to college right here in Central Florida. Curtain number three. It's a moment we all have. wait for on Let's or Make a Deal. For a chance to win this. Tiffany. Will the curtain reveal a luxurious prize or... It was a soapbox car. Over the last ten seasons, Zonks have taken on a life of their own. They call me the Zonk Master. Meet Tim Jersey Feimster. He graduated from Full Sail right here in Central Florida, then headed west. I was yeah. like, I'm going to come out and do movies, yeah. Soon after, he landed on Let's Make a Deal's first season as a set dresser. And by day three, I was just a worker. By day three, I was the lead man running the show. And then slowly but surely every year, they've given me more and more stuff to do. Now, Jersey leads a team of six, creating elaborate zonks. There's stuff behind you that's all 3D printed. You can see right here, there's this uh, Zonkaroo we just printed out. Speaking of Zonkaroo, Jersey not only created him, he brings him to life. Zonkaroo, Zonkaroo. The first time I jumped, I didn't do so well. And how he, his fall has turned him into like the Jerry Lewis of the mascot. So they want to see him fall or tumble or smack around and it's... It was just natural and organic, which makes it beautiful. And just steps outside of the studio. Welcome to our warehouse. I come up with awful drawings. I mean, <laughs> it looks like bad sketches my son made, and then they come out to be looking like this, which is fun. This is one of the new zonks you'll see a lot of this season, and Jersey here says he actually got this boat for free. So, like I said, Wayne's a giant kid, just like me, so yeah. everything has to drive. And just like you, Wayne you has too. no you know what? idea Dude. what's behind the curtain. So the excitement to try to impress Wayne or get him to come down and play with it is my biggest goal and all of our biggest goals. Because sometimes it'll open up and he's like, bwah, bwah. That drive to impress means there isn't much downtime. I'm planning for next year. Okay. Um, so it'll be a playground toy that you can sit on, but also it, oh. You'll, you'll be able to have races. Like, I get to live my dream every day. I came out here with a hope to do something, and they pay me to be a giant kid every day. Hmm. Are you Love fascinated? Shirt, too, at Zonk Life. Yeah, you can follow that on Instagram and see what's going on yes. with Zonk Life. But, you know, he found that boat for free, and he says he goes through the free section on Craigslist, mm -hmm. and he finds all sorts of stuff that then he repurposes, and, you know, they get all the ideas from the audience members, I was going to say, producers. people can, like, tweet them yes. Zonk ideas, mm -hmm. and then they'll feature them, and you can get a shout-out on the yes. air if they use your Zonk. Yeah, and they usually have about three to five Zonks per Stop show. Stop giving me side-eyes. I know, Tom was... <laughs> I'm used to watching that story. They're cackling and I'm going, because it's mm -hmm. fun. Did you see Zonka Root? I tell you, I laughed until I cried the first time I saw Zonka Root jump out of that egg and fall. And now it he's made me fall so every happy. single time. That's awesome. Tom, when you feel bad, just watch that video.